Ray, thank you so much for being here. Um, I've often wondered how in the world did we ever live before jeans became it's acceptable so wear. They're what everyone wears all the time uh -huh. now. And they're so hard to find that fit you well mm -hmm. and feel good on your body. And we all have different preferences about where we want the waist mm -hmm. to hit us and where we want what shape we want the legs, how tight we want them to be. Uh -huh. And so if you start making them for yourself, then you are able to uh, um, put all those features in that you want, keep the details you want, and not worry about the ones that are not important to you. Uh -huh. I so, think that's true. Right. And it's your your company makes a pattern that we do is, is we designed have this for Eureka jeans. pants that fit pattern, which is the base pattern for us mm -hmm. for an, a pant. And it Any actually pant. just makes a tapered pant, mm -hmm. but you get all your fitting work done in fitting that tapered pant. And then we have this sporty detail um, pattern that accompanies that you can purchase oh. separately uh -huh. and it gives you all the information to turn that tapered pant into a blue jean oh okay style pant so and we're we going are, to see a sample in a we minute we're absolutely going to yes uh-huh uh -huh. i'm going to well, talk a little bit about the tools you need and um and okay. what so let's look at this uh, sample so this is clearly not a full pair of pants mm -hmm. but it will give us a sense of the details that we think of on a jean and so you see here that we have the um the fly front with mm -hmm. the brown yellow mm -hmm. top stitching, which is classic. Um, top stitching along the crotch and the inseam. Mm -hmm. And then this shaped pocket here, curved pocket, which is classic. The little key or coin pocket, mm -hmm. which is also classic. And then on the back, we have our hip pockets and yoke. Mm -hmm. What's missing here is the top stitching uh -huh. on the waist, isn't it? And you can see when you don't have that top stitching, all of a sudden it doesn't look as official right. as it does when the top stitching is everywhere. I see. Boy, that's the first thing your eye catches. It is, isn't it? Uh -huh. uh, where is that? Uh -huh. Something's missing. <laughs> that's right. So as you're thinking about jeans, let's look at these again. Mm -hmm. um, here are the things you need to do those details. You need a heavy thread that is going to give you that top stitching. And do you do the same thread in the bobbin and the and the I top? I actually don't. Oh. I use a navy blue or black or whatever color the pant is so that I get a real defined top stitch. Oh, okay. Um, and you a little and length longer stitch You lengthen stitch the length. stitch. That's correct. And you would um, you want to um, use a heavy needle. So a jean mm -hmm. needle. Um, that's a double needle, which you can use. I generally use just a single just, needle and do uh -huh. two rows of stitching. But the jean needle has a large eye for that thick thread. That's important. Right. Uh -huh. And if you can, the best thing to do is to thread a separate machine for the top stitching oh. and another one to sew on. So you're not having because, to change yes, everything because out. Because you, you do this work segmentally, and if you have to keep changing all mm -hmm. the time, Takes you go forever. crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> so the best way to make jeans is to have a friend come over. And both of you make them together, and one machine gets threaded as the top stitch Good machine, idea. and one machine gets threaded as the regular stitching uh -huh. machine. So you can work it out, and everybody moves at different I pace, like and it works out just fine. And you have two pairs made in the same amount of right, time. Right, <laughs> right. So as you are designing your own jeans, you need to decide which details you want. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that um, that I find for myself is I don't wear belt. Uh -huh. So I don't put I don't belt either. loops on uh -huh. mine. Yeah. I have this tape in my head from my mother that says, if you have a belt loop, you have to have on a belt. <laughs> yes. And I don't wear them, so I leave my belt loops off. Uh -huh. And I often have a, gar a top that's over top mm -hmm. of my shirt, not tucked, tucked in. in. So the details at the waist are not as important to me. Uh -huh. um, another thing that is a classic jean detail is to have these little rivets here uh -huh. at the corners of the, of the pockets and um, on the pant right here. The problem with them is you can't alter the jean very well when they're no. in there. So you'll see on the pants I make for myself, I just use a little top stitch there. Oh, and uh -huh. it gives me the same, same detail. support, uh -huh. but it doesn't make it hard for me to adjust the pants if my body changes a little so bit. So we need to think about all so those details So you can think about before. the details you really care about and then put them on. And in fact, we now see a lot of um, jeans in the store that don't even have a true zipper, they're just pull-on, because uh -huh. they've used this lycra fabric, and that's great, it allows you to make a really close-fitting pant. Uh -huh. um, and then they just put a, 
almost like a stretch knit waistband at the top. Mm -hmm. So you can make them however you want That's once you get your pant to fit you and you know which details you want. These details that hang underneath your underneath your shirts sure. are the mm -hmm. ones that we generally really want to feature. Of course. Uh -huh. And the hem. Okay. So shall we look at pockets? Because we should that look really at does, pockets uh, and let's talk a little bit about how they're made because one of the things we want to think about is that as I said, you must know that it fits you because you do all this work to the front before you ever, and here you can see pockets being built, before you ever put it to the back. Mm -hmm. So there's no trying it on. You've got to get that pocket in there, those pockets made. And if you needed to drop the waist down a little bit here, you see, you'd be taking off your little the, pocket. Right. So you have to make sure you have the right shaping that you want. That's a good point. Yes. <laughs> And then we usually see on a jean the denim facing here mm -hmm. and then another kind of a cotton pocket that's coming out mm -hmm. so that you don't have the denim in three layers mm -hmm. here on your And I know a lot of people body. don't put pockets in or ready to wear, right. do not have the pockets. Right. But I don't think you should buy a pair of pants if they don't have no, a pocket. No, pockets are very <laughs> helpful, aren't they? They are. So you build the pockets first and top stitch them as you go. And then you actually put the zipper in. So here we see the second, um, the second step here. The pocket has been built. The pocket facing has been put on. And then it's all top stitched before mm -hmm. you ever go to the next step of putting the fly zipper in. Mm -hmm. So each step is done to the front before you ever move to the back that makes or sense. Um, uh -huh. put the garment together. So fit is so important ahead of time. Once you get the zipper in, which is its own several steps, but they're not hard. And here you see one. This is a very low rise mm -hmm. pair of pants, as you see. <laughs> Metal zippers are Metal zippers are the best the because mm -hmm. a jean usually fits you tightly enough that you need a really sturdy, sturdy. zipper mm -hmm. in there. And you need a zipper that's the correct length because these metal zippers, you really can't shorten yourself. I've tried it. There are tools, but it's very hard to do uh -huh. on your own. And so you want to purchase them, and you can purchase them in different lengths. Yes. Three mm -hmm. inches, three and a half, four, four and a half. So you'll figure out which length is yours, mm -hmm. and then buy the zippers you need to, in order for them to fit in. But you can see that you couldn't stitch no. over mm -hmm. this or have this come up above, or you'd have too much bulk in uh -huh. the seam. So when you're using a true jean zipper, it needs to be exactly the length that, yes. you're, that you're looking at as you put them together. And here's some belt loops that we've mm -hmm. made that then would go onto the pant. So mm -hmm. each thing happens one step at a time. Here's a pant leg ready to be sewn. A classic jean hem is just a double, double turn uh -huh. with a top stitch. All of these classic features are in the direction book for oh, the sporty too. details. So let's look at a couple pairs that are really finished, not just little half pants. Mm -hmm. And what I want to recommend is that the first pair that you make, and these are black, and I know that's hard to see, but if you top stitch in the same color as the pant for your first pair, you might not. It's more forgiving. It's a little bit more <laughs> forgiving, and it's, it doesn't slow you down as much no. as the decorative top stitching, which has to be so perfect when you put it on. Versus so here's this. a great uh -huh. second pair, uh -huh. and this pair does have this the key pocket, denim you can too. see. I like yeah, this that. isn't a too stiff of a denim. Uh -huh. Denim comes in weights, and it ounces. So most denim pants are between 8 ounce and uh, 13 ounce. This is eight the 13. 13. This is pretty heavy. stiff. Uh -huh. That's what um, the classic jean manufacturers use. And then I want to show you this pair because this pair has some very decorative top stitching that is fanciful and different than a classic, but it does the same thing. And, and you suggest that if we're interested in doing this, right. look at magazines, yes. um, in Pinterest, online, right. whatever. Save some pictures save of them. details that uh -huh. you like on jeans, shapes of legs, details at the waist. And then as That's you work through getting your pattern developed, you can start adjusting it to the designs that you like. It's our inspiration. It is our what inspiration. We're That's right. Well, yes. thank you so much, Ray, uh -huh. for showing us about making denim and jeans yeah. that fit well. Good.